hey everybody, this is the fourth year, and welcome to Tip Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about using groups to help you stay a bit more organized in FL Studio. So one of the main complaints I see about FL Studio is that there's kind of a lack of organization. And the truth is, FL Studio can be a lot more organized, you just have to know how to do it. What I'm going to show you in this video is just one way to help you stay a bit more organized in FL Studio. So this is a track I've been working on, and you know you can see the playlist is very condensed. Um, there's actually quite a bit going on, but it doesn't take up that much space, and that's because I've used groups and I've kind of minimized these groups. And so I'll show you if I kind of expand this out, it takes up a whole lot more room on the uh, playlist even if I kind of zoom out quite a bit. And so even though I'm zoomed out quite a bit here, I will still need to kind of manually change the sizes of automation clips if I want to edit them with any kind of accuracy. And it takes up a whole lot of space on the playlist anyway. But if I minimize all these groups, you know, you'll see the playlist just, you know, there's tons more space here. And not only that, but I can also zoom in quite a bit. And if I want to you know, edit some automation clips, edit some patterns, some samples, whatever, I just have to expand the group and it gives me, um, I'm probably a bit too far zoomed in here, but it gives me quite a bit more resolution to kind of edit these automation clips. Um, and then once I'm done, you know, just quickly minimize it until I need to access it again later. So you can use these groups to group similar instrument sounds, maybe layers. So in this case here, I have a couple samples that are layered together. Um, and what I've done a lot in this project is I've used it to just keep track of my automation. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few automation clips I have in here. And, you know, I, I like to keep the automation clips with whatever I'm automating. So in this case, um, the piano, there's a filter being automated on the piano. Uh, with the kick, there's a filter automated on the kick. And so I've just grouped those automation clips with the sound that they're automating uh, just to keep things really nice, clean, and organized. And another thing about groups is you'll hear if I kind of solo the piano group, rather than only soloing the piano instrument, and then I'd also have to, you know, kind of select uh, some automation clips if they weren't grouped, but because they are grouped, all I have to do is solo the uh, collapsed group, and then you'll hear uh, this automation will um, happen as I play the sound. And then for the case of the snare roll, uh, you know, I have a couple different patterns of snares, and if I you know solo the group, it will play you know any patterns that I have in the group, which I think is quite nice. And then you know if you want to only kind of listen to one of the patterns, you can expand the group and then kind of solo it that way. and then collapse again to solo the whole group. So hopefully you can see that using these groups is a really nice way to just stay organized in FL Studio. And if you want to make a group, it's really quite easy. Uh, just, you know, I'm going to make a group at track uh, 29. I'll call it uh, just group, and I'll give it a color um, green. And so if I want to group the track below with this track, uh, there are a couple ways to do it. I can just click uh, where you kind of resize it and drag it up and keep dragging up until it will become part of that group. Um, the other way is to right click it and select the option group with above track. Um, if you want to group a track that isn't right below it, uh, you can just hover over that track 
um, hold shift and then scroll with your mouse wheel and just position it below the group and then select to group it with the above track. And if you want the whole group to be colored, um, you can you know, right click the group and auto color group. And it's all green now. And now if you want to move the group, it all moves together too, which is pretty cool. So that's how to make groups in FL Studio and a few ideas on how to use them, but there are a lot of different ways you can use them to kind of improve your workflow or just keep things nice and organized. But yeah, hopefully that's helpful and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you thought it was helpful, please be sure to leave a like and maybe a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around. I've already uploaded a bunch of tutorials and I try to release new ones every week. I also do my best to keep things pretty organized so that you can find what you're looking for a bit more easily. So thanks again guys for watching the video and hopefully I'll see you next time.